Welcome to Whispers. Bala hmm. and um, Akiri Dulu. I don't know. <laughs> but Bala is going to get it one of these days. He's going to get it. Trust Akiri Dulu. He fired back. He fired back. Hmm. Fulani hearts men don't need Akiri Dulu's permission to live in Ondo forests. Bala. According to Bala, citizens don't need the permission of his Ondo state counterpart, Rotimi Akiri Dulu, to live in the forests in the states. Bala Mohammed, Bauchi state governor, has said Nigerians don't need the permission of any governor to reside anywhere in the country. According to Bala, citizens don't need the permission of his own Ondo state counterpart, Rotimi Akiri Dulu, to live in the forest in the state. Akiri Dulu had last month issued a seven-day quit notice to Fulani Hatsman operating illegally in the state's forest reserves. Apart from rejecting the Hatsman, the governor also banned on the aid grazing, night grazing, a mov movement of cattle within the cities and on highways. The issue generated an uproar, and after a meeting with different stakeholders, Akiri Dulu asked Hatsman to register with the government so that they can operate unhindered in the forest reserves. Speaking on Friday on a television station program, Bala said, Land is in the hands of the state and federal governments in trust by Nigerians. In trust, but Nigerians don't need the permission of governors or the federal government to settle anywhere. You don't need the permission of the governor of Bauchi or the governor of Ondo to be in the forests of Ondo if you choose to live in the forests because under section 41 of the constitution, you're free to settle anywhere. Akira Dulu had earlier criticized Mohammed and earlier criticized Bala's and earlier criticized Bala for defending the use of arms by herders after the governor said the herders carry weapons because they need to protect themselves. Describing the comments as careless and despicable, the Ondo State Governor said his colleague had encouraged all other Nigerians to carry arms. We read with dismay the outburst in the purported statement by the Bauchi state governor. We are persuaded to believe it didn't make that statement. A statement released by Donald Ojogo, the immediate past commissioner for information and orientation did. If indeed he made that statement and owns up to its contents, it then means that the Bauchi state governor has declared on behalf of the federal government an executive order which now allows all Nigerians, hard men inclusive, to carry prohibited, pro prohibited firearms like assaulted rifles for self defense. That is exactly what the governor has done and displayed by his conduct, which presently depicts that whether other Nigerians like it or not, hard men must carry AK-47 for self-defense, while all the non-Fulani hatsmen must remain unharmed to be perpetual victims of harms while bandits. By that statement, the governor has in one breath agreed that indeed Fulani hatsmen carry AK-47 and at the same time encourage all to do likewise. The Bauchi governor, as by his conduct and attitude, ushered us into the next level on the path of anarchy. He is not fit for public office. Yep. Persons of such impetuous disposition. Person, I take that again. Person of such impetuous. Uh, I take that again. Persons of such disposition and character are not free for public office. As long as Nigerians 
consideration remains unchanged, it is still unlawful for any unauthorized persons to carry prohibited arms. The statement is most despicable, highly recommended for the dustbin of careless talks. Oh my word! Yeah, I can't just roasted. I can't just roasted this guy, yo. Wow. Well, truth be told, Bala has been. Bala has been, you know, he has been asking for it. He has been, it's kind of like gargan for it. So, yeah, Bala got roasted. He got roasted big time. I mean, why is he picking on Akira Dolu? Why is he picking? And where did he get that uh, section, whatever from, that um, that Nigerians can, they can live in the forests? What forests? Even if those forests are government re reserve, those those lands must have owners before the before the government take over. I mean, something is called reserve. Did, did, did this guy go to school at all? Eh, this man la don't she bala bala. Why don't she bala? Don't she bala bala? Be a one more to do that by. Well, trust people. Mm, he got it from, uh oh, he got sad, hot and spicy. The herdsmen do not need permission to live in the forest where they stay and commit atrocities, kidnapping, stealing, raping, killing, and all manner of evil. And you don't see anything wrong in all of this wickedness? Even you that called yourself a governor? God in heaven will judge every evil act whether anybody like it or not. Nigeria is gradually moving into transition and all of, of you who think you can do anything and get away with it will be surprised at the turnaround which will soon take place. You need to grow up if you are wise. <laughs> this is another height of an ignoramus statement. To live anywhere according to the constitution does not mean one should reside in the forest reserve. Forest reserve. This, I mean, without appropriate authorization from the government. Going by your myopic statement then, there is no need for government either. Some of you leaders should guard your statements when you come on here. Some of you need proper ed Yes, Bala needs proper education. I don't think he's educated. Because I don't know. This man self, he talks without sense and his reasoning is dysfunctional. Spot on, spot on. As the chief security officer of a state, he has every right constitutionally to protect all law-abiding indigents and non-indigents alike. While I don't believe that all the herdsmen are bandits and kidnappers, asking all all Hatsman to vacate the government owned forest reserve is not too much. Tell him all. This is an irresponsible statement from a state governor when the country is looking for ways to restore peace and order in all regions of the country. I believe the governor was aware about the move of his colleagues as a result of stakeholders' meetings held in Ondo, Oyo, and Ogo states, respectively. He needed not to anger the, the citizens of those states who were one time or the other victims of killer headsmen. I expect him to live above and work towards restoring peace into the country. If he's not a if he's not a complacent in the whole unrest situation. I pray God will stop peace. Uh, mm, we all pray for peace. Uh, <laughs> Somebody said, oh my God, I'm relocated to Bauchi Governor's Lodge. After all, I can live anywhere within Nigeria without any governor's permission. <laughs> Give it a go, let's see. Give it a go. Mm. Give it a go. Mm. 
Mm. Northern leaders always fight for their people, even when they have done something wrong. But you see those evil and Yoruba leaders, most especially those called orbits of Yoruba, are political slave, slave and foolish. They can never defend their people like the way this Aboki does. No wonder, no wonder why they dominate our political states. Mm. 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 I, I always, even when they are doing bad, if they are not protecting them, they are, they are giving bandits amnesty, they are paying them. So they are encouraging the hearts, man. Mm. Hmm. Protect yourself. That is what the Minister of Defense said two days ago. No while, since we are all responsible for our own lifestyle, why do we need government? This is, ah, it's bull, it's bull, it's bull. Hmm. You know, people are behaving to be called good people by their northern masters. Hmm. But if you, if they are still pampering the full enhancement terrorists without fighting them now, they will regret in no distant time to come. I blame the Yoruba youths who are waiting for their governors to help them. No way. Money is their target, not protecting your lives. Hmm. The northerners just talk carelessly without reasoning. Of course they do. The biggest land and forest you can find in Nigeria is in the north. Abio, why must they be in the south and west? I don't know. There is a motive. Ah, you can see that too. You use your full energy to destroy our farms. And you make your own farming flourish. And still sell the same products to the south. Your evil agenda will not work. This is not 1894. That is what they do. They're, they are wrecking us economically. They want us to, to rely on them. It's, it's, it's never done. Hmm. Mm. You see? You see why Nigeria can never be one? Everyone needs to defend themselves. Help will never come from the center. The type of arrogance being displayed by these half-baked intellectuals called governors should be checked before they plunge, they plunge the whole country into civil crisis. A word is enough for the wise. Hmm. Not even one northern politician has conscience enough to condemn the criminal activities of the Fulani herdsmen. Hmm. Hmm. It is only the animals that live in the forest. Those murderers should leave people's land alone. <laughs> Mr. Governor, so nobody owns the forest. Mm. And this is coming from a, 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 he is a governor. And I mean, his words over there, the last words over there carry weight. I mean, he's one of their superstars. And he's reasoning like this and saying and talking like this. This is him talking rubbish in English. I wonder what he's saying in his mother tongue to them. I just wonder what he's feeding them over there. Mm. So, there you have it, guys. So, according to Bala, we can all move anywhere, rent free, without permission. And we can all carry arms now. Yes, that's what he's saying. So, <laughs> ba la ba la ba la ba la ba la. To pay the ba la la. What you do for ba la la? Oh no, oh no, I'm not bad. So, uh, I just leave this here. Mm. Until I come your way again.